So, my name is Jack Howard Potter. I, w I live in New York City. I work at my studios in Long Island City, which is right outside of New York City in Queens. Um, the name of the piece is Gendron, and it's one of the body part collages that I do on a regular basis. Um, I study different parts of the human figure uh, as I'm working to you know, gain a deeper insight into specific parts of the body, and also to just explore different possibilities in the range of the figure. Um, I tend to make very traditional figurative pieces um, and then I also branch off and I make more of these sort of body part collages, which is what I call them, um, which is where I basically take a bunch of different body parts that I'm interested in studying at the moment and I put them together in new and interesting ways. I've done quite a few of these. Um, they've definitely been a series. They definitely evoke some of the same emotions that figures do um, and people are able to relate to the human forms, but there's a certain uneasiness about them that I think captures people's imagination and that um, I've been told people really are drawn to and like. Um, this particular one is one of the first large-scale body part collages that I've done. Um, it's been exhibited in a couple of different places around the country. It's been down in Florida and in New Hampshire and Vermont and uh, Tennessee. So it has been uh, around the country quite a bit, which is nice. I'm very, very happy to have it here in Skokie, uh, close to Chicago. Um, I'd love to get more work in this area and do currently have a piece down in Flossmoor, just south of the city. Um, the work that I do is figurative steel sculpture, so all of the um, material is steel. It is covered with a powder coat finish, which seals it from air and water, which promotes you know, rust. So the powder coating gives it this great colorful finish, and it also protects the steel from corrosion. Um, but it also evokes a lot of the same um, feelings that people give off or that people have when they wear clothing. You know, it adds some color to the landscape. You know, the red color on this sculpture looks great against the green background in nature. Um, really sets itself apart from the landscape. Um, and so one of the things I'm really trying to capture in my sculptures is movement. I'm trying to take a very heavy solid material, steel, and make it look as though it's in motion. So I want people to kind of envision you know, where the sculpture or the figure has just come from and where it's going to. So I tend to deal with sort of transitional moments, um, small snippets of time that are really um, ephemeral. I take a lot of my inspiration from dancers. I draw dancers very often. I draw dance rehearsals very often. And so you can see a lot of the same sort of body lines and um, really extended body positions in a lot of my work. Um, hope you enjoy the sculpture.